Hello, BB Gangsters. This is Calvin, also known as Wormer, and this is my first ever playthrough of To the Moon. An old Anamorphosis book. So this is the book that I used to read as a child. And I guess it reads a little bit now, right? But there's also some pickled, uh, pickled, uh, uh olives here. I see the fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you made all night. Don't you mean the cheesiest remark? Oh, God. Wow. There you go. Cheese remark initiated. Man, it's like a little get-together. Yeah, I love out outdoor get-togethers, man. Top 10 feeling in the world. You know what I mean? Just like being outside and like eating food with people, having chats with people is always really, really fun. I'm trying to click on as much things as I can. So we're not missing out on anything. Is it a situation where we literally have to leave here? Because I can't see River and Johnny there. We got one thing out of here. Oh my god, it's not their wedding reception, is it? Look how- oh my god, look how handsome he is! But do we not get to hear from them? Look how beautiful they look! Oh, we do, thank god. Look at them! Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean. No? Why? Uh, do you? Oh, the music! Actually, uh, yeah, I think so. What is it like? Oh my god, the music is so good here. It's just... It's different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Oh, here's where they named it. They're beautiful right now. Look at the two of them. Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Holy hell. Anya's a good name for her. Hey, uh, come with me. So beautiful. Holy hell, man. This game just impresses me every second now. Oh my god, look at them! This is not right. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. I can't. I'm good. I can't. I can't. Let's just look at this. It's so beautiful. Don't worry. Just follow my steps. Oh my god, they're gonna dance in the lighthouse in Anya. I'm done. I can't. I'm done. Oh, look at them. Magnificent stuff. Ow, my ass. <laughs> I think he stepped on my toes. Sorry, but this is something you'll remember forever. Even if she, you know, you love her even though she steps on the toes, you know? Come on, let's try again. Beautiful stuff, absolutely gorgeous. They did such a good job with that. Oh my god. No. No, let's play Metopia. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Let's play Metopia. Let's play Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Let's play Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Sharp. Let's play any game. <laughs> let's play something. Let's play another game. To promise the love and comfort, to honor, and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. I do. Stop. Stop. And you will take this man standing before you 
to be a lawfully wedded husband, to promise love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and health for as long as you shall live. Oh, yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. <laughs> I'm so, I'm tearing up. I'm tearing up. You need to stop this. You need to give me a break. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Ah, the wedding. Yeah, what did you think that was? I'm sorry, but it's incredible. An absolutely incredible moment. This game is incredible. I'm just bad at weddings, that's all same, but in a different way. Lewis sent to escape from my eyes. Yes, no, the same way, actually. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And my fluids, I meant both fluids and salt. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Theo. So he's saying he vomits at weddings. She has this lovely dress, by the way. Come on, let's find a, get a, way to, uh, find a way to get out of here. All this happening is joy really putting you off too, huh? No, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Huh? Sheesh, whatever happened to just take it a moment by moment? So she's not... Okay, either she's not into marriage or she genuinely believes that this relationship was a mistake at this, le at this level, I guess. Look at all the families together as well. This is a beautiful place to get married to. Look at this. And they look so beautiful. They look so pretty together. They deserve it. They deserve all of this. Let's check this out. And there they are at the reception. The beautiful wooden tables. And there's Nicholas and Isabel as well. Oh, maybe it's oh no, maybe it's their fa their parents actually. Sorry, I got that wrong. Yeah, I'm so proud of Joey. Miss Wiles, I better go see how your aunt is doing. Uh, right. Uh, tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Mom calls me as a nickname. Oh, that's pretty sweet. How have you never told me about it? So that was Nicholas, by the way, just not Isabel. Because I'd rather you call me John. I don't understand sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Receive note on Joey. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. It's like such a small thing to add to like the story because again, like I always say, the smallest thing make the biggest difference when it comes to characters. Joey's Johnny's nickname, his grandfather went by the same name. Look at how beautiful this looks as well. This is great UI. Fantastic UI. Um, is that his grand, is that his father or someone's father? They are lovely young people. How many times are you gonna teach this lesson, old man? That's my favorite SpongeBob moment. Well, one of my favorite SpongeBob moments. I think my favorite SpongeBob moment was who you call him Pinhead. Who you call him Pinhead? Or after his frolic through all the flowers. I'm so proud of Joey. So maybe we have to move on after this too? Or maybe move back up to the lighthouse? Maybe they did something later on? You never know with this game, man. Like... There's so many different things you can do in this, you know? And like, uh, it's uh, the one thing it is, it's linear without being, oh, I dropped a bottle. It's linear without being over the top, you know what I mean? Like, oh, without like, keep, without not, without the, the, the element of guesswork, you know what I mean? You can see, you still guess what might happen. Oh my God, no, it's a ro oh, rabbit on the day of the wedding. Can't be help, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Is that a... Rabbit? Think it's the source of all those folded paper ones? Why would you obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You're the woman here. Okay. 
I'll be convinced I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. The rabbit's the memento, isn't it? So, is, yeah, is this, is this where she became obsessed with on her wedding day? She saw something die right in front of her? And maybe rebuilding that rabbit was a, was a way to, like, make sure that it didn't die. Oh my god, roadkill? What's the best way to do this? Like this? And that. Oh, there's one more here, sorry. <laughs> I was like, I didn't even notice it. You know, it's a fantastic wedding when the memento is roadkill. I mean, it has to be some sort of symbolism though, right? Hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. I don't know if it's that far, but I think maybe it's she, it, it did worry her, you know? So years later, she began following the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. I think, I honestly think it's worth saving the marriage. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. I love the relationship too. Like, it's like, it, you know, you can tell they're friends, but they're still like bickering all the time. Oh my god. So now he's super young. Well, he still didn't know he think he's the same age as he was. Yeah, yeah. Poor thing. What's with all the road kills today? Don't you look at me like that. I mean, we saw road kill when we came here too. It smells like a farm. And road kill. Do you activate the sense simulator or get away from here already? So this is interesting. There's another... Oh god. Oh god. Okay, we can't be here. Okay. That's fair enough. Oh my god, look at the horse! It's a horse of a different color! Whoa! Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what. Don't- Don't not ride this horse! What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride- He is, he's five years old. Quit wasting time, Neil. Oh, crap. That can't be good. What did you do to the horse? Oh, okay. He's, he's going backwards on it. Okay. Do something. Don't just stand to help me. Damn it. This is not in the job description. So do we actually have to help him? Dr. Neil Watts. There's another note on Dr. Neil Watts. Um, or maybe it's in his actual note here. Oh, wait, like he disappeared because he's not here right now. That's really good. So we're still on chapter three, which is interesting. Let's go. Maybe we're looking to find him. Oh, wow. It is like a farm. Or at least it's a hay... Oh, my God! Wait, that's that's River and... Wait, that is River and that's... Johnny. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she's never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. Really good horse animation. Like, really good. River! Kind of like the way our boy was dragged off as well. Oh my god. Look at look at your girl! What's the matter? Like, let's go! She's doing so good! Hey, wait up! I'm, every moment in this game makes me feel so, like, happy and sad at the same time. You know what I mean? I wonder if Neil got off of the horse yet. Ava! <laughs> like every moment. Like it's just, it's so emotional. This one 90% more than I can handle. What a moron. What the corn cob. So we're just going on a horse as well? 
Wait. Okay. Let's go. Got yet. Thanks. Ow. But now we gotta catch everyone else. Ah, come here. <laughs> this is so sweet. This is so sweet. Oh, we got other people too. So what's the memento? Is it the other horse? This is so nice. This horse, no, the mushrooms. I thought it was horse poop. Okay, so we caught everyone. What's the memento then? Maybe, maybe, maybe it's, it's actually still around the place here. Oh, it's not saying we have to get on the. Oh no, there, yeah, no, there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was really beautiful. To get to get to go around and do that as well. You okay, Neil? Here's this memento. This memento will do. But I'm not getting on that horse again. You go get the rest of the memory links. Yeah, it's fine though. We got him. That was such a sweet moment. And like, like again, breaking up the gameplay, they do it really well in this game. They do it super well. No, that was a bad way of doing things. No, it's all right, actually. Like, yeah, we get in seven, but still, or eight, I should say. But we'll take it, you know what I mean? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Is this the diagnosis curtain? Yes, we reached a consensus on the results. Oh no 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 no. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. If you'd known when you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? Uh, this one is by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists in the subject. You can borrow for free of charge for now, just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Sorry, thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried, and without any other current legal affiliation. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything else on settling in the relationship? No. Aren't you, sir? No, it, it, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. Yes, 100%. It'll help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well... It's your call. In the meantime, there is a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact him for you. So that was the horse riding, was it? So, told you so. So she does have a developmental um, difference about her. And what we're get gathering from this is that I think Johnny's shutting down a little bit. I think he's. I think he's ha having. I think he is taking it super hard. And I, again, like it has said, whatever he's feeling, she's feeling at three hundred or different mixed emotions. You know. Um. So like, you can. I can only imagine what she's feeling. You know. Where's the note on? Oh, here we go. There's more notes here. Okay, sorry. A pretty cool guy. Tony Ad was an expert on Asperger's. Oh, okay, Asperger's. And the author of a book on River's Condition. Okay, so it's Asperger's Syndrome. Good, okay. I didn't realize what it wasn't now. Uh, Roadkill and Johnny River's Wedding Day. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. That's good to know. 
Uh, had a friend with Asperger's when I was a teenager. Pretty cool dude. Uh, I think in like, you know, not gonna say his name ever would, but like, I think, you know, one of the things that we always noticed, and this is just, just a separate case with him, it was like, you know, you could, he was so passionate about a lot of things and like, you know, but like he was also very like, in some social situations, he's got better, you know, as you get older, it gets different and all this stuff. Um, but some social situations, he would just take things too literally, or maybe he was too forward sometimes. So you kind of have to just like appreciate that. Like the first time I ever met him, literally like I was standing outside waiting for another friend and he just came up and like, he heard me, he heard me talking about, um, like some TV show or something with my friend. And at first we were kind of taken back because we didn't know who he was. We were like, well, this dude just came up and started talking to us. And then the more he talked to us, we were just like, oh, he's cool. Then we found out much later he had Asperger's. Uh, he was very forward, but like, again, everyone's different. A stuffed toy platypus. I can't believe this uh, piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. It looks like someone took care of it. She still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. <gasps> oh, that's why. It's not because he doesn't want the time to pass. It's because the ticking of the clock bothers her. There we go. There we go. I love how they're telling this story. It's not that severe. I'll be okay. No problem. It's standard policy. If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. I mean, she's, she has no problem doing it. I think it's just like, uh, from River's perspective... The reason why she's like, hey, please don't put, go to the effort. Thank you. Is because she does, again, you know, it's another thing that makes her feel maybe a bit different in front of everyone. Uh, so I guess that explains the one in the house. And here's the thing about Asperger's as well. Is that you can, like, this isn't a thing where, like, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to talk about this in, like, a kind of like, oh, how does she do it? It's, it's, of course, it's something you have to think about. It's something that's on your mind. Especially as you're older and getting diagnosed with something like this. But I think as well at the same time, I never want to talk about it as it's like this doom and gloom thing that is like the end of your life. It's not. It's not at all. It's not something that is like a horrible thing. It's not something to be seen as something that's like super, super bad. Um, it's just something that you will have to like change a few things in your life for and adapt. The family will have to adapt a little bit. And yeah, you know, it's, 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 I just don't ever want to see it or ever proclaim it to be something that is uh, anyone who has a, a neurodivergent um, difference about them I don't ever want to make them ever think that it's something that's the end of their life just a bit longer they'll be calling for you soon yeah doing the story in reverse order incredible so there's one more there's an orange thing around here I wonder what the memento is though Maybe we look at the doctor. So that's the that's the the memento is the clock. But we have to find one more to find the purple piece. Okay. Usually it's fairly easy to find. Oh, there it is. Okay. The round handbag. Yeah, I already made a, an absolute shambles of this one. At least we can do it, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's a really beautiful way they're telling the story. In reverse. Wow, it's like a movie theater? And the clock, I love how it takes you there as well, look. Psst, look. I know, I can't believe uh, he once paid to see this crap in theater. 
No, you idiot. Look, we leaped. <gasps> We're a very, very young, uh, maybe teenage version of Johnny now. Holy overcooked macaroni. The kid's in the theater all by himself. What a loser. Do you want to hear something that I did one time? Um, I I went to see Little Women 2019 by myself because none of like because all of my and here's the thing, I love that movie. None of my like all of my like literally the the, the friends my friends who were girls were literally on like a trip at the time, um, which I couldn't go on because of like some other reasons. And all my, like at the time, I don't really talk to these guys anymore. I, ha I, imagine, I actually haven't talked to them in years. But these guys were like, I can't see Little Women, that's stupid. Why do you want to see Little Women? Like, and I was like, oh, but it's Greta Gerwig and she's so good. So I was just like, F it, I'll go by myself. <laughs> and it was so weird because the energy was so nice because like going into a movie theater where it was just all, um, like all women, like, I understood a lot more, like, I again, I can't understand the sisterhood part of the, that story of Little Women, but I understood which parts made them laugh, which parts made them cry more, and, like, I was just kind of like, oh, okay, okay, you know, like, that, that's a big deal. Like, when, like, like um, when she cut her hair in the movie, that was always something that, as a kid, when I first watched the original Little Women, the, no, not the original one, the one from 1994, when I was like, oh, she cut her hair, okay, you know? But then all the girls were like, oh! <gasps> Oh my god, you know, uh, now like, you know, I, 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 I care about my hair a lot. So there's like obviously a big thing for me now with hair, but I don't know. Just just thought I'd express that right now. Overshared a bit. <laughs> you go to theater by yourself all the time. There's nothing wrong with it. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. <laughs> this just, this sounds like the less nice way of what I said, but I honestly, everyone like would have liked the movie that came. It was a really good movie. That aside, how can anyone last through this rubbish? Is he by himself? Because he keeps looking side to side. Oh, was he waiting for someone and they didn't show up? That could possibly be it. And thus, this movie sucks on both physical and a metaphysical level. QED. Come on, let's go. What? All right. Man, this is so interesting way of doing like, I love the way they cut off the screen because it's like, if you don't need to know this about the memory, it's not, it's like, that's not important. Even the movie they're watching wasn't the important part. Whoa, look at this. It's such a cool design. Whoa, wait, I ain't taking no, uh, talking to no emo teenager. Calm down. I was an emo teenager. Grammar, my dear Watson. Shut up. It's not even a full sentence. Let's just go look for the mementos. I still didn't talk to... What did, Why not? This is, like, the first time we've seen him in this, like, in this sense. You know what I mean? It's the first time we've seen him as, like, a teenager. As we're leaping. I actually love the loading screen. Uh, the, the art of loading screens is getting lost because more and more that's become a sell for games. The loading screens are so short. I loved, as a kid, as a teenager, even now when I was, a, as an adult, looking at what you can do with cre be creative when it comes to loading screens. Now, some games, I'm like, yeah, get rid of them. You know what I mean? Like, for example, like, um, the fact that, like, Demon Souls became instant, it's like, okay. But then again, only, only for new players is that good. For me, as someone who, who like, can play those games inside and out, there was this feeling of like, uh, like, they got rid of the pictures, you know? <gasps> Getting stood up, now, now that's a Kodak moment. You relate with your kin, I see. So, uh, Kodak moment means that's the moment to take a picture, right? Yeah, the Kodak brand. They want to construct some a lady friend. Can we construct a lady friend for Amava? No. Aww. So he did get stood up with the movies, which, you know, getting stood up at any single turn of a relationship, there's nothing here. Could be pretty bad. Hate to say it, but I guess I have to nag something out of him again. All yours? At least there's no olives this time. 
Oh my god, he's gonna have to talk to a teenager who's sitting outside depressed after getting stood up. Oh! River! Oh my god, look how high- oh my god, that's- that's those butterflies, right? That's the, that feeling of seeing the person you really like. It's- it's a magical feeling. You were in there this whole time? I, I waited for you at the lobby. Uh, I thought you didn't come. Why'd you leave? It's hard to watch the movie together. Oh. Huh? I'm the one who should ask you that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie t together, and then you left. We weren't watching it together. I didn't even know you were you, you where you were. If you saw me th there, why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? Oh my god. Yeah, there it is. Like, again, they're showing, like, um... How, like, her brain is de definitely different from other people. She saw, like, okay, we're sitting in the theater together. That's what we do. You know? It doesn't matter if we're not sitting beside each other. We were watching the same movie in the same room. <laughs> and at the time, as a teenager, this to him is just like, that's funny. You know? What's wrong? You're so weird. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? No, no, he does. He does, River. This is so sweet to me. Because, again, it's like... She obviously has, like, something different in her head of the idea of what this is, right? Um, she still likes him. He likes her. And, like, the way they've, they've, they've framed this is something I didn't even ever expect that they could do. Of course I do. Come on, let's head back in before it ends. Oh, my God. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. I'm being ripped apart bit by bit every episode. Like, it's so sweet. I feel like I should make a clever remark. You feel wrong. Well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there. That's, again, like, that's how she, she's thinking differently. She has a different mindset, a different way of looking at the world. She thought it was 100% okay to just sit away from the boy that liked her, you know? And there's the platypus again. Okay, here we go. So let's try and do, we have to do it in five. Okay. We cannot do it in five. <laughs> it ain't happening. <laughs> you know, I think this platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but hey. Come on, dude, grow some balls. Is this a school? Oh my god, River's sitting reading a book. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's working up the courage. It's not that. Uh, look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Jeez, oh, what could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. That's so easy for people to say, by the way. Worst case scenario, she says no. Yeah. That is the worst case scenario, and it's terrible. You're struggling like nothing happened. No one ever know, and everyone's gonna think you're still you still think you're cool. The idea of still thinking, being you know, being thought of as cool is uh, yeah. What if she tells someone or yells at me? Don't be a little wuss. Or or says yes, but really means no. Or says yes, but really means no. Shh. Quit worrying. Who would do that? What if she throws an encyclopedia in my face? Yeah, this is an, this is actually so normal to think of all these things that would happen if, if a girl says no. I don't even have a helmet. Dear Lord, I'm not prepared for this. Dude, don't panic. Just straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell him. Everything will be alright. Just turn around. 
OK OK Hey what are you Shh Ahem <clears throat> Hello Uh Hello C Can you hear me? Yes She's reading her book She's reading her book Then why did you Never mind the music. I can't get over it. That's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? A book? About platypi? No. Oh, uh, I, uh, I, I, I think that's great. <laughs> hey, uh, you want to go uh, lighthouses? <gasps> Stop. It's a book about lighthouses. I'm starting to think that the platypus is also like something that that what, what it means to her is that like it's something that keeps her very centered, maybe. Huh? They're exactly 16 second order fresh uh, Fresnel lens lighthouses in the country left. Nine of them are coastal, and one of them was modified for a historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Oh, is that what you're reading about? Um, say, do you want to go catch a movie together sometime? Oh my god, this is so sweet. This is so sweet. I don't know. Oh, that's okay. I'll give you time to consider it. I can't. Why? There's no date or time. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why this line has hit me so hard. And I think it's just because how beautifully written this game is and how amazingly they captured the, like, she can't consider even going out with him because there's no freaking date or time yet. And of course, that's how her brain is, like, is thinking about it, you know? I'm sorry, I don't mean to make people feel weird because I know that there's a lot of um, people, there's like, I, I have so many different people that watch my videos. Um, you know, nor neurotypical people, nor divergent people, so many different types of people uh, that watch my videos. So I don't ever want to make you feel weird by being emotional over something like this. It's just something I think is just so well written that it made me feel so welled up, I guess. How about this Saturday at 8? And he's not picking up because he's, you know, he's a teenager. She just flicked the book as well. You know, she had to flick the book. Ava, I think the system is frozen. No, no, she's just, she's, she's processing this. Yes. Great. Never mind. I guess we'll work out the details later. Um, I'll just... Don't face palm. This is actually really sweet. What? What are you looking at me for? You think I'm going to call out how utterly awkward that was? It doesn't matter. It was sweet. Awkward can be sweet as well. We'll just forget it. I'm not giving into your expectations. Give him a break. He was still just a kid. Exactly. Exactly. You of all people should relate. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know. A stuffed toy platypus. Well, I suppose if you don't look at it from the right angle. No, not really. Never mind. So that's one of them. Okay. It's so sweet, the image of her just, like, sitting on the, the stairs here reading her book. What the heck were you doing in there, dude? What? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would have just barged in there and been all like, Hey, you, go out me. Nah, that's not... No. No. <laughs> that's just terrible. I know, and it would have still been better than what you just did. <laughs> nah, dude, you did, you did, uh, so did she throw the encyclopedia in your face? Did she? Shut up, dude. See, I'm not the only one who tells people to shut up. And suddenly I feel loved. No, no, he did good. He did better, um, than most teenagers do, and to be honest. Some people make their friends do it. Leonardo da Vinci trained by drowning, uh, drawing eggs in a barrel. And, uh, 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 uh wait, what? By drawing eggs 
By drawing eggs. Barrels are like very big eggs. Therefore, you'll be a very uh, a big Da Vinci's. Okay. The Iron Da Vinci trained by drawing. Oh, that's what it's. Okay. I sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I get what he's saying. Yeah. They're the same kind of like they're the same kind of like round shape. It does help you. I, I imagine that drawing eggs over again would be more than enough help to make your um composite. Not the way you draw like um bodies and faces. Dude, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. Come on, it's fun. I wonder if you could paint. You look good if you practice, you know. Yeah, right. After this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. I thought that would be one of them. Why do you have to draw stupid barrels anyway? Quit complaining. I'm sure you'll learn to enjoy it someday. So there's the eggs in the barrel. I thought that would have been the memento. Maybe it's a trash bin's memento? We only we need two we need three more of the the ideas as well. So maybe it's down below as well? Yes, there's more down below. I love how we're following the, again the reverse order story here is done so well. Anyone? Rivers across the room as well. Plenty of space to be staring at her during the class. <laughs> Anyone at all? All right then. River, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. Give her some space. Give her some time. Come on, I guess we'll have to. He made sail on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city of Palos de la Frontera which was founded in 1322 and granted a Alvaro Perez uh, de Guiman, who was at the mere age of 14 by the... Okay, okay, when he asked for the date... Okay, no, no, no. She... She helped out. She had some extra knowledge. Be proud that your student picked up on this knowledge. See, was that so hard? You, you, you barely gave her any time. You gave her no time. Good Lord, does everyone uh, with her condition have near photographic memory? Not really, though I think her uh, road of memory is often fairly strong. So we got another one there in any way. Maybe it's the globe? No. Computer science class. We just called it typing, but I think in America it's called computer science. I could be wrong. Do we have to walk all the way around to get them? Psst. She's coming this way. I'll tab, I'll tab. I know this feeling. <laughs> I know this feeling for sure. This is a... Uh, during typing, we would look up uh, music and things like that. And uh, our our teacher would randomly put this like sheet over our 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 our, our um alt tab lifesaver. Oh, she would put this sheet over our um com uh, uh, computer uh, our keyboards, so we would like learn how to type better. Only open during lunch hours. What are we looking for here then? So we're playing as Dr. Watts right now, by the way. Yeah, Alta. Yeah. Honestly, like, it's it's funny. Wait, what if she's not coming this way? What do we what if we wait for her to not come this way? Yeah, I, I I'll be honest, like sometimes with the movement in this game. Okay, maybe maybe it's just a uh, they say all that. Yeah, the movement is sometimes strange in this game. Yeah. Like sometimes it's difficult to get around things. And sometimes it's not very clear what you can travel around as well. Uh, maybe there's something in here we missed. No. 
Let's go back up here then, maybe? Or maybe there's a transition here? It looks like there's a bit of light here. I don't know if that means transition, but... Yeah, it does. Okay. Cool. It's so warm today. Oh, basketball. My second favorite sport after basketball. That's a wrap. You chunts better be a um, uh, better next time. An atrium. We could use this place later. I just can't believe that these court lines are tangles in, in his head. Oh, is that like a way of getting over limitations? Or if it's just like in his head he remembers them as rectangles? Oh, they're doing press-ups. Did you get punishments? Ugh. Fine, you win. No, it's just a competition. Booyah! Man, honestly, yeah. This is all very, very natural, I feel like. In my humble opinion. Maybe that's the only thing we have to collect in here? And maybe things have changed outside now that they've all they've all left. Because it's lunchtime now, I'd say. So we maybe can open the cafeteria door? Because we checked out here first. Possibly. Yes. Very good writing. Very good writing. Man, this is a very old cafeteria. Like, having carpet in a school cafeteria? Uh, no. <laughs> what? Around kids? Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. What are you even talking about? Oh, no, stop. Stop. She sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. It's a platypus. It's a platypus, sir. That's not a deformed duck. That's a platypus. Yeah, you defend your woman already. You defend her. Takes a platypus. Quit making words up. If you don't know what a platypus is and you're a teenager... I mean, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know. Isn't that cool? Oh. <laughs> That's what you need to find. Find yourself a man who looks at your differences, and when someone goes, man, her ears are so weird, and they go, right, I know, right? Like, in a loving way. <laughs> You're into aliens and all that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just hang out with the emos and goths? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot, too. Look, Nick. I just... I just don't want to be another typical kid and to see a typical people. How the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you could just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know. Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. Wait, what? So you wonder for what she has, but not her? That's cold, man. That is not good. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. Dude, you should have pushed back on that if you felt different. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandmas tell you. No, everyone is unique. Everyone has something so different about them. And if you can't see that, then I think you're just not looking at people in, in a very close way. This guy's some human hog and hipster. That's yeah, it's, it's such a horrible way to look at something. I thought it was way more lovely than that. Like him just being like, I want to be with her because she's so different and I want to be different and I want to be unique. So I want to be with someone unique. Um, That's not the way you should look at it ever. I don't know, man. I'm not, it doesn't sit well with me. 
That's sort of disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. Yeah, it's not a good way to look at it. It's high school. Everyone's a bastard. But hey, welcome to the club. My way of looking at this as well, like if... So wait, so this is what he told her about the at the cliff? <gasps> no, that's what he said to her. That's the reason he wanted to be with her. I suppose so. She then went out cuckoo and began to make uh, those creepy rods. Maybe not the best way to, to put it there, Dr. Watts. Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago. Yeah, she's pretty good at holding a grudge. I don't think it's a grudge. I feel so sick in the pit of my stomach now. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on. I think our passport's leaning against the table there. Okay. Um, the way I look at it is this. Nicholas had some very insightful things to say. You know... Not everyone who is different, especially with her, wants to be different. Not everyone's like, oh, I, oh, I love being kooky and weird and strange. That's not how, especially like newer uh, divergent people. Like they don't wake up every day. Like, yes, it's, 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 you know, it's to be proud of your differences and to be happy with differences. Of course you always should. But it's not like every newer divergent person is going to wake up every day and be like, man, I want to be um, different from everyone else. That's not how it works. Sometimes it can like really mess with your head. Sometimes the way they think and talk and have conversations can, can feel weird. Man, I'm, very, I'm not very happy with this kid. I thought it was so sweet. I'm envious that this kid was still there to help him move pianos when their hair grew their hair grew white. Yet, yeah, it's, it's it's strong friendship. I wish I was still in contact with my childhood friends. Like, River, River's just... River's living her life with stuffed platypus. I just love that every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. He must have left a big scar in his mind as it did on mine. Well, see, it's always with her. It's always with her. I don't know, man. Like... Should I even? No need. I'm good now. Ah. Me. For walnut's sake. Ah, me. What's he doing? Hey. Not cool, Ava. You never... Block someone in front of a Kamehameha. <laughs> what? Prepare. Yeah, no, man. I, I, a lot of different thoughts now. Right? Like, a very different conversation to be had now. I think. You know? And very different feelings that she must have as well and that they all must have. But I think it's only, like, it's a very natural... I don't know. It's it's, it's a very realistic story. And, like, there's, it doesn't pull any punches on, like, you know, people just not being... Um the best people in the world, you know? I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. Still calls him Joey, yeah. My baby boy. Growing up so fast. Was that... What if he was a girl? Would he still nickname after his uh, grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends in A. Joe, Jue, Jule. Sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? <laughs> jealous? Oh, yes, yeah, so jealous. So this is um the family homestead. Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. I mean, I can imagine, like, yeah, like, 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 I don't know, I, I like the sound of it, but, like, not everyone's gonna like the sound of a ticking clock, are they? The couch. Ugh, not again. I got a spot of pickled cucumbers. Holy crap, my mind's totally blown. Pretty easily impressed. Man, it's a beautifully designed house, by the way. Beautifully designed house. I can't imagine a world where the Amori or Undertale devs didn't play this game and think it was incredible. Like this had this would have inspired me to like create for the rest of my life. If I was like already creating games, you know what I mean? If you get what I'm saying, like if I was already creating stuff, this would have like 
changed my existence. Oh, something here? It seems like there's something shining here? Um, oh no, is this how you get in here instead? Or maybe we leave? Oh, here it is. Okay. My bad. Oh, it's the ball. It's also beautiful. Like, it's a, there's actually, like, a, a heater in the house, which, like, is actually a very smart idea. They're very good, and, like, they cost, they're very cost-efficient as well. Um, what do we do here? We change that around. Change that around. Change this around. Hmm, already I'm doing very bad. Everything's back to the same way it was. There we go. Oh. This was the intention. I said if I can do it in 14, we're golden. You know, that's all I ever wanted to do was do this in 14. Huh? Oh. And there's bunk beds as well, by the way. Wait. <gasps> White space? <laughs> Ah, it smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Ava? Well, what's happening here? What the hell is that? Well, what are you noticing? Is that not the cutoff point of the world? Of his memories? Are we outside the memories? Oh, no. We're well outside the boundaries. That's his next memory. Your boy is going Laputa on us. I don't know, but it's not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction within the machine's AG ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry. We've already gotten the teenage uh, years saved. We might still be able to do this. All right, but I ain't telling them about this. This is kind of scary. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. This is legit kind of terrifying. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Are you sure there's not me do with anything? What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Yeah, this is a bit... Seems like a bit like a premature ending, almost. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. So we're back. We're back. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need a concentration. What is... Wait. So do we not accomplish the mission that we wanted to accomplish? So maybe that's maybe he's blocking it out. That could be it. It could be it could be a, a him blocking it out entirely. And that's all this old food knows. Eh? Sure, I can't be more of help. Then have to be enough. All that's have to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then I'll put the switch, and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter the world. 
Then can you sim not simply make things happen? And fulfill my wish here and now? That will work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy. A canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you're merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desires to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desires dictate your behavior. The result of that would then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and that's enough. Don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know? If you truly believe that, why do you even care to explain? Exactly. I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. To hear you're a copy as well? Doctor. Is that what I truly am? Oh my god, we're here now. All of our night's work. This is kind- Oh, this is- it's, it's, Oh, this is- it's, We're supposed to be here. We established everything in every single memory. Whoa. What the? At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being uh, ahead. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All I need to do is pass the desire from the latest memory to the earliest. What? Okay, we'll do that next time. We'll definitely do that next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. This has been very interesting. I wonder, like, will we actually get to see the childhood aspect of this? If not, like, uh, like I'd, I'd be kind of upset. Like, I'd, I'd like to see, like, more of, of the history. And I guess we will at some point. Um, I do want to thank you guys so much for being so supportive of this playthrough and being supportive of all the series I do. And thank you so much to the Never Gonna Pray the Baby Gangs here on Patreon, Ty Faro 2, Jamie Bull, Jan the Banana, Ghost of Inazuma, Felicious Felix, George Candelaria, Eskun, Yule, Radish, Fruity, Anusta, Chibata Red, Malcolm Conde, V Mika, and Death Trap. I'll see you guys very soon. Yeah.